seven. This is Houston, say again, please. Five. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Three. We've had a main beam on the level. Zero. Roger, main beam undervolt. Okay, stand by 13. We're looking. We just have one picture left here today, and that's the picture that I chose. And I'm not sure I can say uh, the <laughs> the name of the picture right. It's a uh, Hibis Chasma, and it is uh, an image from the European Space Agency that I just happened to see yesterday on the homepage. It was a great image. I'm just gonna share my uh, my screen here. This is uh, the Hibis Jasma, if that is pronounced, pronounced right, <laughs> I'm not sure. It's, it's a great image and, and I, I was speechless when I saw it first time because uh, it was a beautiful image. I loved the mountains in the background, I loved the colors, uh, uh, I love it's, it's a high resolution image. Uh, first of all, I, I thought that this is one of those images you really can go deep to uh, and it is there is a lot uh, of things in in this image we had our grandmaster in computer software technology <laughs> yeah. uh, Neville Thompson making a scale on it yesterday and it showed that from around here where my little uh, mouse is now to here is about 26 kilometers, 23 kilometers or about 16 miles. So this is a huge area and my first thought of this was that this could be some kind of mining site, uh, a quarry site or something like that where, where, where those who were on the planet uh, used the area to, to find what they needed, uh, minerals, water, oil, whatever uh, they were digging at, uh, rubbles, uh, rocks, uh, mm. what, whatever might be in, in the underground that they could need uh, to survive or to, to do what they had to do. I think this is a, a really, really awesome one and I can guarantee you by looking at this one, I can guarantee you I'm going back to the European Space Agency and I'm going to look at a lot of other pictures uh, after seeing this. So, But I would really like to, to uh, hear your thoughts on it and I have to add now that we just got Karen, Christine, Patrick with us also now she just jumped in here that's great welcome pa Karen I forgot to say welcome to you when we started here we are glad to have you here so oh thank you so much yeah Karen, thank you so much for having me can you, you hear me I you are always welcome so Karen I would like to <laughs> hear your thoughts on it as the first yeah well I saw this image of, uh, kind of come across the transom of you know uh, it, you know with your your work and putting it up there and this is such a strange image that you know the first thing that i jumps out at me is, is there's a lot of hydraulic action here there's some kind of mudslide there seems to be a pool of water so so much for there's no water on mars you know mm -hmm. that's baloney um you know and it 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 does have a look of a mining situation my father worked at the jim bridger plant in wyoming so a while back because of some of these images coming out, I had a look at what does mining operations look like, and it has a sort of a strip mining look to it. I'm eager to hear from other people, but this, it just doesn't, the big square section, uh, Carl Sagan said, in, uh, I studied what he was saying prior to the lunar orbiter image uh, of the moon, the lunar orbiter mission, that you'd be looking for rectangular features if you were looking for intelligent life or some kind of, you know, um, industrial civilization on the moon or any other planetary body. So we've, we've got a big, giant square thing. So, hey, that is not a natural thing, in my opinion. No, it doesn't look like that. Neville, tell me what you think. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks like a, a mining site, you know. Um, but it's huge, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely massive. Like, um, I don't know really what size, what size um, ma machines would be in there. You know, they must have been huge. Um, 
I can see in the corner there, in the corner there's like a, a small building. You can see it with sides and uh, there's a little round circle on the front of it. I've actually looked at it on Google Mars and you can look at it from all um, all other directions, you know. Mm. Um, but on the, on the top of it, um, you can see like a, like a square bit as well, just, just above. Um, the top there, you can see like a square mound as if something's been either uh, blocked out or whether it's been covered over uh, in time, you know. Um, but it's 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 amazing that um, black coming out of the the rock as well, and that l looks like oil or yeah. something, you know. Liquid. Really, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really strange. Why? Why you can tell it's it's like li liquid because of the way it's formed in the uh, bottom there, can't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Man. Yes, Martina. <laughs> I would like to hear your thoughts on it too. Okay. It, it's an amazing find, Thomas. It really is. Mm. Um, I, I'll just tell you what I see. I'm, I, I see the um, almost like an entrance on the left-hand side into the quarry, maybe an exit on the bottom right-hand side for vehicles to come and go. Um, in the back of the 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 sort of hewn out, you know, the tall wall at the back, um, if we'd zoom in on, on that section where you can see what looks like rubble, <clears throat> I'm seeing um, objects that look like pipe work, um, circular things, um, bits of machinery. Uh, nothing there looks like the, the actual, um, you know, the, the actual sides, the walls of the quarry. It's completely different, different colour. Um, I, I think they they don't belong to that. That's not the it's not rubble falling down from the, you know, from the face of that wall. <clears throat> and you can see the this black, bluey black liquid, which appears to have oozed up through the ground. And and this I would imagine has come about through, <clears throat> you know, the Martian summer. Uh, the melting and thawing of the sort of uh, the surface of the landscape. I mean, we know that there's general global warming going on throughout the solar system as well. And um, this, NASA has confirmed too that there is an abundance of carbon everywhere just under the surface of Mars. Um, and of course, we all know carbon means oil, it means coal, it's fuel, um, even diamonds. So, you know, who knows what, it would have been, it could have been a mine for, for oil to, you know, for all sorts of purposes and reasons, industrial uses, whatever. Um, also, the one thing I noticed was the fact that there's a tidal mark within this area, halfway up the wall, the walls of the quarry. So I would imagine that was filled with ice and snow at some time, and it's all melted away now and left this definite, definite mark of where water came up to. Um, there's some odd sort of textures on the ground on the right hand side in that hole. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's almost speckled, isn't it? Um, and behind the hole, the overall square hole, is, is this strange mound that Neville mentioned. Thomas, uh, <coughs> really... <coughs> can, you Thomas can you... Yes? Can you put... Can you put my screen on? Because what I've done is, I've actually gone into Google Earth and I've spun, I've spun around. Uh, yes, uh, you are on right. now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. One second. I'll get me control up and I'll put it on. <laughs> there. Right. What I've done is, can you see this? Yes. Wow. Right. Right. What, what What I've done is, I've gone inside of it. Right. Right. And I've and I've spun around, okay. Yeah. And I've spun around, okay. Now look at here. Look at this here. It looks as if there's a square hole, like like this huge this huge thing is square, mm. and it looks okay. as if it's, it looks as if there's something around there on the side of it. If I pull back out a bit, you can actually see. Mm. 
Ah. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can see yeah. it on the other picture also. Is it's that different. the boat shape that you were speaking of, Nev? The round um, part, was yeah, that the boat yeah. shape you were speaking about? No, no it's like on, on the side of it, there's something around on the, si the side of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, now if you spin it around, it looks as if it's like a opening, like a, a tunnel coming up here. Ah. With a, with, oh, okay. With an opening there. Yeah, you're right. You yeah. cannot yeah, yeah. see it. You can't see it on the on the the picture we've been looking at. It just gives That's it a different aspect mm. of the yeah, whole yeah. image. Yes. It really yeah. does. It really does. Martina. Yes. Did you I just to, just you, yes, thinking, continue. I just wanted to say that these things that we're looking at, you know, it's so hard to imagine just how huge they are. Mm. They are really, really huge. Anyway. That's it. That's, That's it. it. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, to Martina. Coach, Billy, Carson? Yes, I'm here. You're uh, back. Just, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> this is an amazing image. Um, the great thing about the European Space Agency is a lot of their images do not have um, a lot of obfuscation. Uh, they don't do too much airbrushing. For whatever reason, I'm not sure. Even like on the Comet 67P, there's a lot of very clean, clean images of that, and uh, so I'm glad that you went to the ESA site. This is you're gonna find a lot of great stuff on the ESA mm -hmm. site that uh, is gonna blow your mind because you can. There's such a high quality when you zoom in, you don't get the pixelation. Oh, I already did. Uh, and uh, you know, I'm glad that Neville spun this around like this because now Look. I can really see everything from another angle. Mm. Can you can you see that round circle there? Look. Yeah, I see it. Look with, at that. With someone coming out the middle of it. Yeah. It looks like yeah. Yes. You know, yes. Yes. And, and uh, I'm starting wow. to wonder if maybe that uh, fluid might be hydraulic fluid or some type of fluid that powered hydraulic devices that work that mine area that kind of maybe ground down the inside of the wall, um, you know, to create that um, yeah. that feature in in the side of that mountain. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a massive, massive area. Twenty sixteen miles. I mean, if you're standing on one end in the bottom, you wouldn't be able to see the other end uh, you know, on the ground level if you were looking out from it. No. And I, I don't think that glaciation caused that because um, I don't think you're going to get that severe, that, that extreme drop down into that shape. I think you would have a gradual uh, decline to the lower ground. I don't think you would get that shape from you glaciation. You would those angles, the angles. Right, the angles are just too sharp. This is an amazing, amazing piece, and uh, I, I'm hoping that this one gets, you know, sometimes Thomas, he gets the big, he get the big wigs get his, his information and put it all over the net. I'm hoping that this one gets into all the little blogs and gets out there in the news. I hope that's great. Yeah. I hope that too. Linda McLendon? Yes, Thomas, I'm here. Let me hear your thoughts on it. Okay, well, the the first thing I had, had noticed, like down in the bottom left, corner of the deepest end there there at uh, uh, where you you had the little like bits and pieces of maybe machinery or something around that area I, I noticed this uh, looks like sort of like a drill bit piece can you pull it back up Thomas and yeah the, the picture I uh, uh, shared before it show show yes. what I'm yeah. talking about. Here we go. It's, yes. Yes. Uh, do any of you, of you, uh, you know, see it also? It's yeah. a cur curvature, like you know, like a drill bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like Would be like an earlier find I had. Is this the one, one you're time. talking about here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, on, on over. Over, uh, on over toward the, just a little piece more, over to your left. All right. Oh, this thing in the corner. I down, see it. Yeah. down, yeah, and down, down also yeah, under is, that. Uh, yeah, right like there. A huge drill. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. Oh. Right. Uh, all of you uh, was right on, I believe, it being a strip mining site. Because we have uh, coal mines around the area where I live, 
they they do the stripping of the coal the same way and the and they use the bulldozers and going in in a slant position and pushing uh, all of that out and digging down to the coal veins, you know, to get the coal out. And uh, they're doing it that way instead of having the coal mines like in uh, big tunnels, you know, going into the mountain mm. sides and because there have been so many accidents and... Uh, you know, a lot of miners getting killed in those types of coal yeah. mines. But, uh, yes, the, the pool of water is very clear. Mm. And whatever the liquid w is, uh, carbon or, or whatever it could be, is uh, you can see it clearly draining into that pool of water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, the square area that Neville was talking yes. about was... This one over here, and it's a great. Uh, yes. Picture. It looks like some huge sites machinery is actually on its way either up or, or down from here, or, or simply just stuck here. Uh, we don't know. I don't know. No one knows. But but it really looks like something ah. uh, artificial constructed is laying here, uh, and this would be more than two, three kilometers sh uh, from <coughs> here to here. Uh, and if this is a drill, it would be something like 500 Huge. meters in diameter. So, so yes. this is a, a, a way, a whole other scale than we are used to here on planet Earth and with our Earth <laughs> standards and, yes. and perspective yes. and all this. So, so this is a, it's awesome to see something uh, from from uh, out of this world, so to speak, uh, where we actually don't know anything about it and. and <laughs> We have to to dig in it from from the bottom, so to speak, yeah. uh, with our speculations and thoughts on it, uh, and, and what we can uh, rely rely on from from our own knowledge as strip mines and machinery and, and stuff like that. So this is a uh, a great image, and I'm really glad that awesome we, image. we uh, uh, could uh, get some thoughts on it, and, and I hope it will be shared all over the net as some of the other uh, images uh, has been so far now. So. That was the Hebus Shasma image, and that was the latest image uh, for this uh, round. But I can guarantee you we are going to be back again, and I hope that we can bring some sensational news within a short time. So, thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned right here, because there's going to be more from us here. Thank you to Neville, thank you to Martin. Thank you to Billy, thank you for Karen that just joined us now here, thank you to Linda for, for, for being with us here today. This has been an awesome uh, uh, talk uh, and discussion, debate, and uh, it's way over an hour, so <laughs> 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 it has been a, a long uh, talk we had here. <laughs> so, wow, that's high. until we see us again, everybody, take care out there. Goodbye, right. Thomas. Bye, guys. Bye, Thomas, everybody. Bye. See you later.